Hi guys, it's your girl Michelle, and I'm back here with a video for you guys, and what is it gonna be? As you can tell by the title, it's gonna be a what's in my bag video. Ah! I had this video requested a while back and I just never got around to doing it, so, da 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 here it is! Starting off my current bag that I have been obsessed with and always using is my PS1. It's a Proenza Schuler satchel -y, I guess. I don't know. I love it because it has the black fringe and it's all black. Even the hardware is black. I love this size because I know it comes in a couple other sizes. I believe this is like the medium one. It's not too big, not too small. Um, just enough room for me to carry uh, a good amount of stuff without going too crazy, I guess. But I got this at a sample sale, so for all you haters out there saying you shouldn't spend so much money on designer handbags, um, I got this for, I want to say, like 70 or 80% off. So, suck it. I love this bag, and I've just been using the living shit out of it, basically. So when you open it, you kind of just like flap that open, and you open it, and then there's three pockets with one more on the inside. And I'm just gonna go from front to back, I guess. In the very front compartment, I have a clip bar, because you never know when you're gonna want some protein and energy. <laughs> and a Clinique chubby, chubby stick. Going on to the second pocket, I have a notebook, mini notebook that I got at Muji. This one's just kind of a free-for-all with papers and business cards falling out of it. You can see it's property of M Trees. That's me. Some pens because how am I gonna write in my notebook if I don't have any pens? I have this stylus that I've been carrying around with me that I honestly have never even used. Whoa, I didn't even realize there was a light on that. Cool. This, by the way, is my favorite pen in the whole world. Nail file. Don't you hate it when you just have like a kind of cracked nail and then you like are adjusting your hair or like fixing your clothes and then your nail gets caught in the fibers or in your hair because there's like, yeah, I can't stand that. Always have a nail file on you. So this one, as some of you may know, is a condom brand, but my roommate's work did a collab with them and were giving out condoms, but I actually use this to hold random vitamins that I keep trying to take but I'm always like in a rush in the morning so I never remember to take it so it's a, it was a good idea for me to just have them on me so then I can take them when I remember because yeah. Now on to the main compartment um, where all most of my crap is. Some of you guys may remember this guy. Got him in Taiwan I think two or three years ago. It's been my go-to makeup bag ever since. I think it's the perfect size and it's so cute. Inside I just have a few essentials, oil paper, uh, eyeliner and eyebrow product, a lip liner, pressed powder. This one has been really good for my oily skin. Concealer, to-go perfume capsule. This thing has been amazing. I got it at Nordstrom and you kind of just like refill it with your own um, perfume. Some lavender oil, um, lip products, which I probably have a bajillion more in my bag of because I'm a hoarder. Sunglasses is definitely a must in New York City, I feel like, or maybe just even anywhere because sometimes I just don't want people to know where I'm looking or sometimes I feel like I'm Julian in um, Big Daddy where when I put on my sunglasses, people just can't see me and I'm invisible. Cell phone, of course. Check out my cute little phone case. I named this guy Russ. Very tangled headphones, but crucial. Disposable cameras, a must for me. They will, I will always have at least one on me. Right now I have two because there's two different portrait series that I'm working on and each one houses another one. This one is for like um, cool, inspiring, creative people that I've met in New York City. And then this one is uh, this one that I'm working with my sister. My holy grail notebook. This one houses all of my secrets, plans, goals, and desires. Keys. Um, these ones are just my keys with some keychains and my gym pass. <laughs> I 
Altoids because if your breath is stanky, I'm gonna give you some mints. I don't wanna smell that. Or I'll take a mint if my breath is stanky. Extra contacts because you never know when one's gonna pop out or one's gonna rip or one's gonna be irritated. Yeah. My little hand. Hi guys, it's your girl Michelle. Um, random patch that I got made at a party that they were doing like custom embroidery. So here's one that says I'm cheesy. Now going into the little pocket on the inside. Um, a lot of loose jewelry that I've taken off throughout the day and haven't like put back into my like jewelry stuff some coupons because you know your girl is a bargain finder couponer never have too many coupons some business cards holla at your girl and more jewelry I mean hoop earrings a ring <laughs> This is a really good way to clean out your bag, right? <laughs> Going through it and talking about it. Now moving on to the back pocket, which is like the convenient pocket where I put some of the stuff that I use all the time that I need like easy access to, like my wallet. This is like a cute, fun little card, card holder that I got when I first moved to New York. Um, it's a mark by Mark Jacobs little gold square. It houses like, it just holds my essentials. I don't carry a big clunky wallet with me anymore just cause it takes up too much room. This sometimes when I just like, you know, wanna go out of the house and just pop something in my pocket, this is the perfect way for me not to lose a credit card or my ID just in my butt pocket. Cute little square for my driver's license picture. And then this not so cute picture of me and my friend Karen. 2AB sticker, if you guys don't already know, get familiar. Just, you know, essentials. More lit product. The last thing, my Glossier um, Universal Skin Salve, which is in the coconut one. Smells so good, works very well. I love this. I've been like obsessed since I got it at their uh, open house. That's about it. Homeboy is flat as can be now. Whoa, looks very weird flat. Oh, and I also got this at the sample sale when I got my bag. It's this cute little Mirakami flower. I thought it was a perfect little add to my all black bag, a little pop of color, and he's so cute. Mirakami is one of my favorite artists just in the world. But yeah, that's everything that's in my bag. Uh, I hope that wasn't too boring and you guys had fun going through it because I always have fun going through other girls' bags on YouTube for some reason. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. Leave a comment down below if you guys want to see more videos like this or maybe a suggestion of another video you guys would like to see. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one.